Okay, so I guess I'll go introduce you guys to my car on this channel. Uh, so it is a 1996 Honda Civic DX. It was a manual, so it came with the D16Y8. I'm not much of a looker, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, picked it up for pretty cheap. I have goals to potentially do an engine swap in this car. I'll actually uh, get some of the progress of it. But got some damage on it, as you can see. Uh, it was a DX, it kinda says DX, I don't really know if you can even catch that. But the previous owner, I guess the guy that I bought it from, he drove it, had a blown head gasket. Or he blew the head gasket driving it. He replaced it, blew it again. Uh, so, as you can see, it's got some rust in the corner panels. A lot of Bondo work. A lot of Bondo in here. And a zip tie. That JDM special, though. Only the best. A lot of rust in these quarter. Actually, that may be surface rust. Okay, that just may be surface rust. That can all be fixed. But it was a pretty cheap car, I'd say. Uh, I picked it up for about three fifty total, and the car is a heap. Don't mind that paint can. That's for another video. I'll show you guys uh, what I end up doing with that. Car. This car was actually originally Midori Green. Uh, as I believe you can see right here. Actually, I'm just going to match the. Uh, go to the trunk. You'll see it much better. I have already gone ahead and started stripping the car of everything it knows and loves. But here you can actually see the OG color. I really wish they hadn't painted it because that is such a beautiful color. I would have much rather have had the Civic in this color than Rattle Can Red. That's faded and patchy and flaky and Bondo filled. Well, that's Bondo. But flaky on the gas door. Flaky on the roof. Uh, so I have to sand through, I have to sand the entire car and sand through two coats of paint. At least until it stops chipping, so I probably actually have to go down to that base coat he's already done. So that's alright, got big plans for this car. Uh, if anyone knows how to remove this, I actually don't know what this is here. I assume it's... I don't know. I thought it was spray paint, so I tried scratching and acetoning it off, it didn't want to come off. And then, whatever these little squigglies are, I actually have no idea, but they're across this windshield up here. It feels like it's scratched in or it's etched in. They drug something across the window, I'm not really sure. But as you can see back here, there's just the remnants of that D16 that was in here that blew up. Uh, I ended up selling it to another friend who also bought the same year Civic as me. But his, I believe he just wanted to do a manual swap. And I think he ended up blowing that motor. He didn't set the crank position sensor or didn't fix it or something. I don't know, but got big plans for this car in the future. Uh, I'm thinking K swap. K swap seems reasonable. As I was saying, for the GoPro cut out for whatever reason. I'm not sure if he just doesn't like this microphone I added on or what, but. Uh. K swap seems reasonable within budget, so that might be my go to plan for now. So, yeah, go ahead and share some ideas if you guys think. I think I got a good idea what I'm gonna go for right now. Um, I'll go ahead and share that a little bit later. But I'm th definitely thinking K swap. I thought about the B, B18, but I want a little more oomph. And I do know where I can pick up some cheap K parts. A couple of my buddies actually already have one. So, you guys give me some ideas about that. 
And if you guys think I should start working on that piece of crap over there, my other shit box, let me know. Uh, definitely need to put some working on it. Especially getting my fitment on point because I'm not sure if you can see here actually a little bit closer. Ignore how dirty it is, but I've absolutely destroyed my fenders. Dominated. Horrible offset. These wheels don't belong in this car, but I made them fit anyways just because I love the way they looked. And too broke to afford the RS like most people around me. But this is a 2016 Ford Focus ST. Uh, I bought it actually in 2016. I was looking for a turbo car that was reasonably priced. It was going to be a good daily. And this ended up catching my eye. It was initially going to be a Fiesta, but I got talked out of that. Some guy bought the one I was looking at. Got lucky, found this one at a dealership that my mom goes to. And scoop this one up instead. It needs serious work. Uh, actually, we're going to talk about this here. So, this, these wheels, the tires, the paint. This is what happens when you try to paint at 4 o'clock in the morning on a rainy day. Don't do what I did and try to paint at 4 o'clock in the morning on a rainy day. You end up brushing the wheels, not masking anything off, and spraying everything. We'll try to get you guys some pictures, or I guess a snapshot when the car was clean, or I guess when these wheels are clean. I actually managed to knock this out with just Rust-Oleum spray paint. It's been on the car for six months, and I have not seen any chipping yet. Well, it's just that one wheel. But, as you can see, when I was talking about the fitment, horrible. Chewing these tires, eating my fender paint, leaving rubber down. And this is from the car show last year. Use those tire letters, these are the permanent ones apparently. They don't want to come off. It's gonna take some work. I'll get them cleaned up hopefully before winter strikes. If it does hit before I can finish working on this car, then more content for next week, right? But this car's got some pretty basic full bolt-ons. Uh this started off as a Roush exhaust. As you can see here, I got that back at the end of 2016. It also had a RS wing on it. Went wing riser at first, went to RS one, and then went back to stock. Uh, actually in the process of repainting the RS wing. Filling in the RS labels because, you know, my car has an identity crisis already. Let's not make it worse. I've got super STI wheels. I have an RS wing. Not a good look. Well, this is what I want to show you guys. I have completely fried my paint it's just pooched all burnt and the rubbing is horrible we'll have to go ahead and fix that but if you guys want to see me work on this car i can show a little bit more on this channel i got some things that i do like uh i had a rear diffuser on the car it was blown away by a rock came up under the front side of the car cracked my front bumper actually and then blew the splitter out I can show you guys how to make that. It was just made one of ABS, so it wasn't too expensive. It tells you if you can buy it from like a wholesaler. A couple things get taken care of. Uh, custom made front mount. I actually I need to go redo this. This is just the prototype too I was making before the ST had any mounts. I had to make one because uh, the laws in my state aren't very nice and friendly. They're not car friendly. I still was talking. The rock actually ended up coming up, smacking my splitter, forcing it into my bumper and cracked it all the way down. So I'll see if I can figure that out and work some magic on it. I need to rewrap the front badge. This was a test that uh, someone told I should try. I did, I liked it, so I'm actually going to wrap it properly now. The roof was white, I wrapped it black. First time ever wrapping anything three years ago and this is how it turned out it didn't turn out too bad it's just uh i did mess up so i wrapped this without a heat gun and i had cut this way too short instead of tucking into this channel here i just laid the razor blade against it and pulled it didn't check left a nice white strip so i'll come back 
pull all this off, rewrap it gloss black so I can it's supposed to be gloss black. I like the whole black and white theme of the car. Maybe we can get the taillights tinted or try to find some black housing taillights with clear lenses. Same with the fronts. Maybe figure something out. But these will be the two cars that may be on the channel. This one definitely, I don't know so much about this one. I guess it depends what you guys like, what you guys feel like you want. And I have another one that's actually currently underway. I'll probably get to that in a bit. But for now, uh, thanks you guys for watching the video. Alright, uh, like, subscribe, comment, you know, whatever. Just give me a little bit of feedback, tell me what I need to do, what you guys want to see me do, what you guys don't want me to do. Always keep moving forward, guys. That's the motto I live by, no matter what. Life's always going to keep you down. Just keep moving forward. Peace out, guys.